Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're here on part two of Sarmi, Zega, Tusa, and the Flower Blocks. And in the last part, we ended on a bit of a cliffhanger where an invasion destroyed our city because we built in the wrong location. So we're gonna have to move some things around and start developing our city of flower designs. But uh, we have pacified most of the natives, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's get to work. Alright guys, welcome back to Sarmi Sega Tusa. Uh, first things first, I think the gods are all very unhappy. So we've loaded back a little bit. We've loaded back a little bit here because our city was destroyed. Now we're gonna go into debt, which is not gonna be too much of a problem. But I'm just gonna fit some statues around here. Uh, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury. Yeah, you just put these around, Mars, and Venus. Don't worry, don't worry, that's a, that's a pa, that's a pa, because I spent all of my money redrawing this, uh, because I figured you didn't want to watch me redraw this one more time, <laughs> because this was too cramped and this is an invasion point, so we can't have all this going right here. So what we want to do, what we want to do is actually get this going one more time. So I'm gonna set up those two rows of houses there and start clearing off all of this. Right? We, we want to clear off as much of this as possible. At least we'll get away from this side. I'll leave the weapon workshops for now because we are uh, training troops. But this whole block has to go. The whole block has to go. Uh, meanwhile, there will be a reservoir here. And later on... No, we can just put it right there. A reservoir right there. So this will be hooked up like that. Yes! So we're gonna move this over there. All of this has to go. So I destroyed a temple to Ceres, I think. Yes, and I will need to move that temple to Neptune as well. So small temple... Uh, Ceres... Small temple, Neptune. Actually, that's not very efficient placing, so let's undo that. I think I'll place it here. And... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And don't forget the engineer's posts, because things will start collapsing. Uh, there's that. Ceres destroys your crops, that's not a problem. And we're going to have the doctor right there. Okay, that should keep things going. So all those houses I just destroyed... My light just fell down. <laughs> Hold on, let me just fix that. Look, we have a very janky... We have a very janky setup here, okay? That's why I started a jank streamer tips over on Patreon. Nothing's properly mounted, all right? <laughs> anyway, these houses moving in there should keep things going. That means our unemployment is staying up. So we can actually just sort of keep destroying houses here. And just sort of shift things over, yeah? Employees needed, yeah, that's not to worry. People are gonna be moving in here. See those immigrants coming in, fantastic. We're back in the white. We're still training troops. Now, this does touch these cliffs over here, so I can go ahead and change my iron mines to be here, right? And change the weapon workshops to here. Just checking, can I go... How many iron mines? I can fit one there, and I can fit one there. So I could fit two more. Weapons. One, two, three, four. This is gonna bring... bring weapons close to these natives as well. But we're gonna keep, uh... things going there. How's our employment shot by eight? More people moving in. Fantastic. We can evolve these houses. Like that. 
Yep, this this size of flower is actually really good. It, it just about reaches the edges of... Uh, it fills the flower, basically. It fills the flower. Okay, that will evolve some of these houses, maybe? Uh, they need desirability. Yeah, it's, it's worth getting these houses evolved. good enough <laughs> okay so we are a little in debt that's not too much of a problem when is the invasion coming in again uh, where is it where is it um, imperial dispatch ready gods unhappy enemies closing enemies at the door was august so they're gonna be here actually they're actually already gonna be here so I'm going to grab these troops and get them to where they need to be. And I'd like to fight somewhere over here, which is a bit more manageable. Uh, do I want to try and lure them through here? That's probably a good idea. So we're going to do that. And we need to just keep clearing all of this stuff off. Shot by 40 employees. Yeah, we, we need more people moving in. Uh, which I will go ahead and do this. That'll bring in all the people we need. Okay, and we're going to try hold off this invasion. We're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, hmm. This is a little tough. Walls and towers, you know, they're very expensive, but perhaps it would be worth it to get a tower or two. Because this invasion is particularly large. It is particularly large. Okay. So we're gonna have these guys move forward. We're gonna clear off most of these houses. We don't need these fountains. Okay. I know we're short by Quite a few employees, but let's get, uh, yeah, let's get these towers going. So, legionnaires, just sit right here. So we'll fight in front of the towers. That's probably the best plan we can do, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. And also, to fix employment, I'm now going to destroy all of that. Going to destroy that. And I'll move the barracks over to this side. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh wait, if I... If I do that... I can't get those towers working, damn. I just realized those towers aren't going to be working. Oh well, we got one working tower. We can do that and maybe it'll start working, but here we go. This is going to be a bit of a tricky invasion. Now we do have a blessing from Mars. But let's try lure them in a bit at a time. A bit of micro goes a long way. All right, let's try lure one group in. Come on. Okay, tower's gonna help us out here. They can start destroying that, that's okay. Look at the number of... Jeez, there's so much. Okay, okay. I think we're doing all right. But more's coming, more's coming. These are horse archers, by the way. Goth warriors. These 
There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Jeez, that's uh, that's pretty intense. Let's try and. Okay, Mars kills some of them, which helps. Okay, he killed like most of those horsemen because we killed the the infantry. Mars's curse focused on. Uh, focused on the horses, which is good. I think we engage these. Those guys are ranged units, so if we go engage, it's better, right? So they can't shoot us? Tower's still gonna help things out? Okay. That went way better than I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> Alright. That's, uh, yeah, that's good. We're gonna need a warehouse. Yeah, right there is fine. To accept weapons. Okay, that's gonna solve that problem. We can... Make sure housing... Uh, does it matter? No, I think housing is gonna be okay, because whichever way these buildings walk, they do encounter a house. But I need to make sure we have enough engineer's posts. We need that space there. Okay, with weapons being stored again, we can sell them, make our money back. Okay, guys, we did it. Guys, we did it. 64 enemy units, 32 warriors, 32 horse archers slain. Is that true, Zan... Zandra... Zandrintios. Zandrintios. The legionnaires took a lot of arrow fire without dying. Yeah, because they have that little shield block. Military academy? We do have one over here. Now, some native attacks happen right here. So this is not an appropriate spot for the military academy. Now, we are selling goods to all of the native camps, which is good. Unemployment of 3% is also good. We'll just buy some of that. So basically, we can... We can make as much stuff as we want, and we could not possibly sell enough of it, right? Like, I could put another, like, couple timber yards here. Right? Yeah. If I go raw materials, timber yard, timber yard, timber yard, workshop, furniture. One, two, three, four. Warehouse, right there, to hold on to furniture. We could produce more furniture and sell it to the natives, right? Okay. And currently, no invasions are on the way. We've survived the first invasion, which is good. All of this needs to go. Uh, how's our employment? No employment problems? Okay, I don't want to destroy things quite yet. But all of this does need to go. This is not where I want things to be eventually. I probably should wall this off. So I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna leave the towers for now. But clear that. Clear that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need this road connection. Okay. So we'll clean up the rest of that when we want to. Uh, fountain, how's the water access? One, two, three. four. And that covers everything, just about. Very good, evolve those please. Okay, so more furniture is gonna start coming in. Weapons are gonna continue coming in here. We are... we're almost full on our current set of troops. So let's just boost up our... weapon production. And we 
we probably do need a house somewhere along here. Yeah, right there should solve the, that problem. Okay, good. Okay. I think the hard part is over. I think the hard part is over for this starting bit anyway. Look, we can't, we can't produce enough furniture to sell. Each of these native carts buys four, and they can buy weapons too. Not to mention we are exporting furniture and weapons. So that's just, that's just a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. I don't need any tents here as long as I don't build more towers. Yeah, but I'm gonna be walling this off anyway, so. But I don't need that. Can clear this off. <laughs> there we go, we just clean this up a bit. And this road is gonna do... Oh, can you not have the road go through there? That's fine. There's a little notch on this flower. <laughs> but this is this is a much better positioning. Much better positioning, right? Right? Not building right at the edge of the map where invasions come in. That's that's a bad idea. Yeah, I think I will be walling off this. Right up to there. Just have a nice couple rows of towers. Yeah. It should work out well. Okay, so now we just have to wait for money, I think, right? Some furniture's coming in. I don't know if these natives are just gonna snap it up. Employment needs 32, which means... Throw some plazas around, involve those houses. Uh, raw material, I can fit another iron mine. And two more weapon workshops. Okay, just to really boost up weapon production here. Yeah, the, the native traders are buying furniture out of there now, which should allow some furniture to stockpile here, but I are all the... Is, I think it is distance related, right? So both of these are now coming over here to buy this stuff, right? So you're buying weapons or furniture, weapons. So, but this guy should be heading over this side, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so now money is gonna start rolling in, right? Ah, that's, this is going to be quite a bit of money. Can I... Hmm. Boosting furniture production here might be a little tricky. I can fit... I move this house to there. I can fit another couple timber yards like that. Open. Uh, do I want to do that? Let's let's just have one for now. Furniture. Boost up furniture production. So now. Okay. Good. 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 So the earlier we sort out our money, the better. Now here. Clear that. To there. Another row of houses, good. To make sure all of these evolve, just give them a single row of gardens. And yeah, there we go. 
that should solve quite a bit of things. Let's go Fort Legionaries. Try and max this out when we can. There should be plenty of weapons in the barracks. Yeah. And exports are going well. Um, I don't think we're managing to sell many weapons to our caravan traders, though. Gods? Oh, yes. How are the gods feeling? Happy. They're, they're fine. They're fine. Though I should throw another festival to Mars. This is finally stockpiling, which is good. And I'm not thinking of feeding people quite yet. Just trying to stabilize the whole thing. Uh, can I fit more people here? We can fit more of those. Should be fine. Okay, yes. Just trying to squeeze in enough housing here. So this flower is mostly housing a third industry, which is selling to both of these native camps, producing all the weapons, producing the furniture, which is allowing furniture here to stockpile. So when a caravan comes in, they can buy that. And this dude here will buy furniture from there unless he goes for weapons sometimes. I don't know if he does. I don't know if they do. Hmm. It could be 20 trips a year if the warehouse is very close. Well, this is very close. This is sort of medium distance. So you could actually max things out even more by doing, for example, if I put a house. How do I want to do this? For efficiency, I will... Actually, can I get, uh, hmm. Just squeeze in two houses, that's fine. And we can industry this up a bit. And just put a warehouse right next to this. Increase in wages, Mars sends a spirit, fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Engineer's post. So we could just put a whole bunch of furniture right here. Now, I don't know whether they alternate buying furniture, weapons, furniture, weapons, or they just buy whatever's closest. I have to observe how this actually works. Unemployment of 3%, which probably means I can cut back on furniture production here. I know, it's still... Know, if I do that... Cut back on furniture production here. 55 employees needed, yeah. Probably should just get a reservoir. Look at that click and drag technique, yes. Fountain. Ah, right, this keeps happening. From here? Yeah. This is not academy trained, so you know, you guys get to fighting first. You know, if one of these guys can die, we can actually 
get them academy trained. Will we lose anyone? I think we lost one, which is good. Which is good. Oh, you're gonna destroy that. Okay. Of course, you'll just go and do that. Oh, he ran that way? Okay. Does Mars not use his spirit on these guys? Oh, he does, he does. Okay, there we go. I'd rather spend... Military cannon. I'd rather spend... Javelins. I can put this right here. Good. 20 employees, okay, that's fine. Furnish is gonna start stockpiling here. Look at all the money. actually just start plazaing all of this up. We have so much money now, you know, I'm just gonna plaza everything. I don't like how that would look plazaed. If I plaza the stem and right the middle there, that actually looks better. <laughs> now all of this needs to be plazaed. Ah, uh, guys, plaza it up. We'll do half the block first. Let's see the Zach Plazas in chat. Okay, so furniture should start streaming in down this way very soon. That's a lot of furniture workshops. We can plaza this up too. Fountains. How am I gonna place fountains here? Does that actually cover everything? It should, right? Perfect. More? From here. Okay. That's a good thing I've got lots of these guys. Um, we're gonna be there. Okay. And I think I'll put down another... Legionnaire fort right here. Yeah, that's good. Mars is delighted. Okay, that's fine. So many raids. Yeah, they're unplanned. They're, they're not invasions. They're just raids from natives. So it's very difficult to predict. That means I do need to start walling off like here. So I kind of need to, like, have this road do this. Right? So I can have a row of towers, like, right there. That's so many of them, though. No, 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 don't, don't attract them yet, don't attract them yet. We need the, we need the legionnaires. Damn it. Ah. Let's hope we can actually fight this. That's a lot of them. Jeez. That's so many. That's so many. And they just sort of run past everything. Oh, I cannot control those guys. This is so many. Guys. This is so many. Oh, they ran for my troops? Okay, okay, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. But I think...
Okay, it's fine. You can you can destroy that stuff. You can destroy that stuff. Stop stop fighting. Come, just run away. Look, everyone else has run away. Safety Kung says you have to build more soldiers army building now? The barracks? No, no, no. That's that's cheating. That's a straight up exploit. I cannot do that. You can totally cheat, by the way, and get more barracks. Wait, what was this stuff? Temple to Ceres. That would be straight up cheating, which I'm not gonna do. Gatehouse. One, two, three, four. We wanted an engineer's post, and then walls. Like that. Towers. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's gonna go there. We're gonna try regain some control here. We can cut back on wood production here. Move this well over so that I could start planning. A wall right here. It'll have to be there. At least this should slow them down. They don't spawn right up against the edge there, do they? I don't know. Can they, do they spawn right up against that? Oh well. Um, now. To get those towers manned, you technically need a road connection to your barracks. Which I could just sort of get started if I hook up from here to here. No, not that. The road there. If I do this, do that, actually not that, hook that up there, hook this up here, and I can hook this up like that. So these two areas are now connected. So then I can man those towers without doing anything drastic. Now on this side, how's our employment? All of you need to die. <laughs> All of you need to go. Uh, engineer's post right there. Gatehouse right there. All of this can now go. Okay. Allowing me to... rearrange how this works. I think I do need to just clear that off so that I can turn this into a kind of a loop. So I can put a gatehouse right here and then have the wall do this. Oh, right. Did that... <laughs> I blocked the road to Rome. Did, did it destroy anything else? Okay. No. So let's put a... Gatehouse here. Tower. 
I'll have to do. Okay. That's gonna get that going. We have two towers on the back, just as a backup. We could double layer this, actually. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. Right? Short by 40 employees? Okay, so we just need to bring in more people, which is fine. Okay. This is a tough mission. I forgot how much military there was on this mission. But it's okay. It's okay. All of these should have employment, so the backs is going to start sending troops around. You can see these sentries going out. Aristolochus Vatsunus. That's a, that's a name. And those are going to start working as well. Okay. I probably want to have towers on a second layer as well. Towers. Like that. Just for more stuff, right? Now I don't know if I want towers here. Oh, it destroyed that. Let's see. I think I need, know what I need to do. I'm gonna have an engineer's post shifted to right there. This will be gone. This will be gone. This will be a gatehouse. Now just wall up to the edge there. So it is actually walled off. Okay. Fort Javelin. So we have all the forts required. Move that engineer's post. Do we have one, two, three, four, five, six? Okay. So I can then just have this road do this, and then I can put towers. Like that. Break that. Touches that. It will need a road connection at some point. Which can just for now be here. To hook that up. Backup engineer's post. Yes, that'll work. That'll work. So all defenses should now be down, but uh, do they ever attack from here? <laughs> we don't have this side covered. If they invade from there, we don't have any defenses, which is not good news. It's not good news. We don't have any javelins on us at the moment, which is a little disconcerting. Those towers are all functional. This, I don't know if we're actually, I mean, we're producing so much furniture here and that warehouse is empty, geez, okay. That's uh, encouraging, but that means we're getting tons and tons of money. Short by 70 employees. I think it's getting to a point where I need to have more people, right? How did this get destroyed? Right, I need more people. So I need another block. I need another block. Okay. 
How about building defenses preemptively here? Yeah, I probably should, but it's tricky with uh, this road that I need to maintain. If I just break that. So this road can't be touched. But I could, for example, wall here. to be able to reach there. I can't get past that. That's what I need to do. I could have tower, tower, tower. Oh right, that's, that's an entrance too. Get rid of that road there. And let's just see if that... That should... This should still cover the native problem, I think. <laughs> the stairs there? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know there's stairs there. I guess we could just seal this. Right? Just, just plug the hole. It's fine. It's fine. So they're not gonna get through there. Okay. If if we do get invaded here, at least, uh, at least there will be some wall in the way. All of these are now functioning. That's good. All of those are now functioning. That's good. These are starting to come online, which is good. People. We need people. start putting down some houses. should help with employment, which is... We're short by 34. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we've just been focusing on defenses this whole time. And, you know, this is probably where main invasions come from. So we're just going to make sure we have all the towers here. Okay. I thought we were safe for a while. I thought we were safe for a while. And the symbol says Zack Zen. Yeah, yeah. When I get into focus mode. But we were very close to losing. Do you see how few troops I have left? Do you see how few troops? Um, I have not set any priorities. Let me just make sure engineering's on one. Military's on two. Um, no, waters should be two. Okay, and the rest is fine. This should solve our current employment problems. How are the gods feeling? Displeased? Okay, I'm letting I'm letting Mars get a bit upset, so I can then um, get him happy again. So that's. Uh, I wish it said what they buy. Oh, someone walked over here to buy things. But oh, we're at two thousand people. Okay. What are these? Cards all day long, oh, right. Yeah, that's annoying. That's annoying. That's why these have run out of... Okay. We gotta break the road connection soon. Once these towers are operational, we can break the road connection. I think if I break it now... Because that's sentry. 
Aulus Iulus. Oh, there we go. All the towers are now functioning, so we can break that road connection. All of these towers are now functioning, so I can break that road connection. All... Oh, not all of these towers are functioning quite yet, but they should be soon. Yes? Soon. Okay. These towers... I don't exactly know how I'm gonna get these functioning. I need a house, but I also need to extend the road. Which means... I need the house there. I can extend this road and have this road do that. And have an engineer's post there. And a gatehouse. <laughs> or rather, we don't need a gatehouse. But we do need a gatehouse here. Strangely enough. I know this looks very weird. But it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. And once these towers are functioning, we'll wait for those houses to move in. So you see how we're doing this? The missionary is walking this way. And he's still walking up until here where he needs to walk until. But I've extended this road. So let me just make sure he is still walking until that point. He should be walking until... He oh, he doesn't? Oh, that's... That's dangerous. If I break this road, does he still... Does changing the road mess up his pathing? I'm not sure how far he walked until before. I think I can actually move this though. Oh yeah, he did normally stop there, but if I move this over by one... It should still cover that and extend his range by one over that side. I don't want to have another mission post. They take 20 workers each. It's not, it's not cheap. So now I can just put a gatehouse right here and temporarily hook that up. Right? And towers immediately start coming online. Okay, okay. And once the towers are online, we destroy the Okay. So him spawning there should work. He does walk until there and then he comes back. That should still cover there. Okay, and look at our money. 9,000. 9,000 cash. So money is definitely not a problem. It's May. We've sold out on furniture. Okay, and all of this should be working fine. 3% unemployment. Okay. And defenses are looking very handy. Right? Right. You know how at the start of this video I said, I think the hard part is over. <laughs> it's been so long since I played these missions, I've, I've sort of forgotten. Um, I've forgotten how difficult they can be. Why does it look like our military is growing so slowly? We are training new troops, right? Oh, is the barracks sending out sentries delaying? troop production? I don't know, but I'm gonna break that now. Because those four towers are online. Is training... Does the barracks not make troops when it's training sentries? I did not know that. I didn't know that. So our troop production was delayed because we were training all of these sentries. Jeez. Well, it's important to get these sentries down anyway. Uh, we only need one of those houses now. Okay. Okay. That was, uh... Hmm. How are the gods feeling? Mars is now indifferent. So, we might 
stand a chance to get a new Mars Blessing if I throw a festival for him and get more temples going. I think we have enough temples here. I can always just have a bit of a temple dump on this side. No, I kind of don't want to do that. I, ah, right. There's no temples here. Series. Neptune. Mercury. Mars and Venus. There we go. Troops are now coming in. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We've we're getting troops, we're getting troops. I did not know that. That was a risky thing to not know. City in debt again. Wait, no, this this is scroll down. Employees needed. Employees needed. I was like, city's in debt. We have 13,000. Okay, but with that, we can now build another block. We can build another block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, Mika Fex's designs here. Yeah? Let me see. Uh, oh, I closed it. I got to go bring it. By the way, flower block designs, the ones that we've seen so far, like this one here. And this one here was sent to me by Mikafex, who is probably in chat right now. Uh, I said I wanted to do flower blocks quite a while ago, and, uh, well, uh, if you want to see them, they're on Discord. Discord.gg slash GameZack. Mikafex posted them. 15 furniture. Not a problem. Dispatch that. Okay. There's that large festival. Very good. Now, we need another housing block. And we might have to build on top of farmland, which is not something I want to do. It's not something I want to do. So we've got this here. What flower design might be practical enough to work with? You know... And where could I place another housing block? You know, if I, uh, hmm, if I did this one, it'd work out okay. So, for example, I can have a sort of snaking vine sort of approach here. And it just sort of has, pull this back a bit, one, two, three. has these things. I think I clear off these trees. Although I do like the natural trees, they can get in the way. Is that correct? That's not correct. It's two steps. One, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Like this, like this, and like that. So it's got these things. And we can make this look decent. Was this measured wrongly? Oh, it's measured wrong. Okay. Right, so we'll shorten this. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, it's correct, it's correct. Yeah, so we've got one of those. Now, we're supposed to have, like, more of these branching off. <laughs> but, you know, I'm gonna start with this for now. I'm gonna start with this, so we can start getting some food going. Because we need at least a couple of these for this to look... to look... flowery, right? I'm gonna clear this off as well. Okay. So, let me slow the game down to make sure we're not wasting too much time. I'm gonna draw another one over here. 
like this. And it might be a smaller one. I'm doing it backwards. It's like this, that. It's two down, two down. down, two down, that's good enough. And then we... One, two, three. You can see me counting three to make sure we can actually fit farms. There we go. So that's already quite flowery. At least it's, it's passable for a flower block, okay? <laughs> so now, to get things working properly, I'm gonna go ahead and... Squeezing a couple houses there. I don't want to waste farm space. So we're going to have a farm there. One, two, three. We're going to have a house there. And then... We're going to have houses there. Engineer's posts in the corners like that. Okay. Farmland setup. Farmland setup. What are we gonna use for the palace block? Oof, I don't know. Palace poison ivy? <laughs> we need some alliteration, you know? Like luxury llama or the palatial pistol. It's okay. How's city health, by the way? City health is average, good. We want it average. Military starting to fill out, which is good. So with this, we could sort of bring food down to various areas. But let me just try and figure out how this is gonna work. We have a house there, and this is gonna be farmland again. So I'm gonna... Oh, this... Well, we can probably have a house right there. Okay. Scatter enough houses around, scatter enough engineers posts around. And we should be okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we just have a road to do this. Along here. This can then extend down this way into this block, which we will. We can hook up. Like that. So this is just one long vine with little flowers along it. Look at that. Look at that. A luxury lily. Ooh, that's a good one. A Roman rose. Wow. <laughs> Petunias, the palatial petunias. Mm. Okay, these are now down. Now we do need people to get farms working. So temporarily, just temporarily, I'm gonna do this. All of these houses are most likely temporary. Most likely. But you know, I'm gonna... Just make sure they are efficient. Okay. Make sure they do evolve. Uh, you know... Well, we have money to throw away, so it's okay. Just make sure they, they get there. Allowing me to then put down a granary. Right... the granary is there, and I have a gatehouse here, and I hook this up like that. And I actually gatehouse that, so it looks more proper. Do you want to get us? No, that's fine.
I wish there were roadblocks in this. But it's okay. I can just put a house right there. Part of this leaf. That should get the granary working. Allowing this to accept wheat, which we will prioritize. And we're probably going to need a couple houses there. And then allowing us to do this. Oh, really? Oh, that's annoying. I rearrange this. So that I put wheat farms like this. Okay. And if I do that, and squeeze in a couple of houses there, then all right. Look at that, we're gonna start using up this farmland with this little viney thing. Ah, there we go. Don't see an engineer's post near your granary. That is a good point. We need an engineer's post. Uh, right there. We'll do that. It's got housing there and there, so the granary should be relatively stable. We'll have housing there, and there's housing up this way, which is good as well. All of those houses evolved, which should... Are all these farms working? No employees live nearby, really. All right, those two houses haven't moved in yet, which is fine. Okay. Now, would it look good if I plaza these up? Probably not, right? Is there a way to make them look more flowery? I don't think so. Uh, but, you know, guys, look at our money. Plaza it up. Bam. <laughs> We're gonna plaza that. We're gonna plaza this whole thing. Yep, yep. Do this, do that. Plaza up this leaf too, sure. Plaza this up, yep. All the way down there. Until then. Yeah, that makes sense. We, we have so much money. We have so much money. It's actually insane how much money you can make on this mission. We're emptying all of our warehouses. Even this one can't keep up. Look at all these furniture workshops. Can't keep up. I've actually made a block with the 2x2 two two plazas as well. It looks very nice. It's not very practical, but it looks very nice. <laughs> oh, does, is anything going to collapse? I don't think so. Food's going to start coming in, which means we can start feeding people. There's two easy accesses to this granary. You know, and we might as well just stick the markets down, right? If I move this small temple to Venus to somewhere else... It'd be better if the market was right... there. The market right... You know, we'll stick to one market for now. All right. Looks nice, right? Fair himself. Looks excellent. Very good. Zach Zen is strong today. Yeah. Northern part of your farmland and the vine thing. You have a road touching some ramps which are confusing walkers. Ah. Right. Not a problem. Fixed. Fixed. Nice catch. Nice catch. 
<laughs> ah, these walkers. Not always the smartest, not always the smartest. But look at that. We're starting to feed people. Uh, very good. We can now spam some theaters around. Theater. Theater. Actor colony. Get the entertainment going. Uh, don't know if we can keep up with the food production quite yet. If the market lady walks down this road, probably not enough farms. Lots of unemployment though, so... What we can do is we can now have a granary right here. Set to accepting. Set this granary to getting. And I'm gonna cut down these trees. Sorry trees, you have to go. Let's clear that up. Farm wheat. Shift that road. We need the efficiency. knocking down some of these houses to make room for the farms. That will boost food production. We can squeeze down a school right there, which is probably going to be an absolute mess trying to get things around. But school kids always run the same direction, so it's fine. By the way, we have three full forts of legionnaires. This market lady is going to have a bit of a walk getting up to there, but it should be okay. Mm -hmm. Housing right there. If they walk up that way, there's housing. If they walk down this way, there's a couple of houses there. Just to stabilize, I will put a couple more houses there. Javelin starting to train up. They all are, they are all academy trained. Towers all functioning. Money is skyrocketing. With all this money, I can just... You know, I, I don't need to tax people. I don't need to tax people. There's, there's already way too much money. There we go. These houses are evolving. Nine percent unemployment, so we can just continue to knock down these houses to make room for more wheat farms. Five percent unemployment. Okay. Okay. Check the gods. Yes. Mars is happy. The rest are indifferent. So it's okay. It's okay. I think we're finally getting to a point where we can make this work. Let's, uh, let's get these houses here evolved. Uh, entertainment should be pretty... Uh, entertainment. Theater. That's okay. We'll need a theater down this way eventually anyway, so let's do that. Let's make sure all these houses have theater access. Yes. And in the middle of this block, I stick a large statue. That makes sense and looks good. That makes sense and looks good. What, what do you think of that? That's good. Yes. Uh, this is starting to fill up. I think we're slowly getting enough food in. It's always hard to tell. 1,100 units of food there, bringing more down, more filling up. Okay. 
No more invasions are on the way. So I don't know when that's gonna start happening. Jeez, the money on this map. If you take advantage of, of these natives, don't take that out of context. <laughs> if you take advantage of the natives, you can make a lot of money. That's the lesson of the day. That's the lesson of the day. All you have to do is take advantage of the natives and you'll make a lot of money. That, that's a thing that is, that is true in this context. <laughs> uh, so, um, I think... How is this market doing? 400 food in there? 400 food in there. I think we're overall producing enough food here. I think we're overall producing enough food. Uh, these blocks are relatively inefficient, but let me check. Uh, education, schools. Oh, the school children are actually running around in a reasonable fashion, covering quite a lot of houses, you know? So we could actually, like, stick another school... Yeah. See where that covers. Yep. That should be good. Uh, this is all just... Oh, desirability, right. Uh... There's going to be a bit of desirability issue on this side, which I can solve by doing that. Which does block troops from running through this side, but if I just uh, break open a path on the back, that will work out. Doesn't always look the best, but, you know, that'll work for now. Ah, distant Roman city is threatened, it is defenseless, and you are the only city that can help dispatch a relief force and quickly. An average force. An average force. In 24 months. Average force generally means, means you need to send four. I'm gonna wait until that's filled up, then I'll send three, four, right? I blocked the way again, of course. <laughs> Zandrintios, yeah, 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 I blocked the way again. Too little entertainment, really. Theater. Oh, there's no theater access there. Guess we have to have a theater then. Okay, how about education down this side? Coverage quite nicely, okay, that works. Those houses are uncovered, but it's okay. We've got like 20,000. Why is the, does the market still need to walk up there? Surely there's enough food here. Okay, okay. But all right, so we've gone from teetering on the edge of destruction to having full-on defenses. Uh, so happy we moved all of this out of the way. <laughs> uh, and just tons and tons of money. So overall, I think the city is doing quite well. All right, that's going to be the end of part two of Sarmi Zegatusa and the Flower Blocks. And overall, yeah, we're feeding the people. We've got military on the way, lots and lots of towers. And if an invasion comes, we'll be much better prepared. And we've got the farmlands going. All right, so in the next part, we're probably going to be just fully on developing our city. We're going to try get palaces, but we'll see how fast that takes. We might need three or four parts for this map. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the button on the screen right now to go to the next part. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.